Hello teachers, educators, school staff, how are you doing? I think that's a good question to ask yourself every single day. How am I doing? How are you doing? I hope today that as I come to you and share with you this important message that you hear me loud and clear. I've got three words that I want to share with you today. Are you ready for those three words? Guess what? You are special. That's right. I'm talking to your colleague, but I'm also talking to you. You are special. During COVID-19, you all have done an excellent job, an extreme, extremely great job, making sure learning still takes place, making sure you're taking care of yourself, and making sure, most importantly, you are helping children. You know what? I believe that you're special because there's something that maybe you were born with, something that you maybe developed over time, but I believe that you're special because you are committed and you are dedicated to helping children to helping families and to helping youth. And today, I just wanna share three things, three things that can help you continue to perform at the highest level, to continue to do great things and to continue to be your best self. Guess what? I was scrolling on social media the other day and I found a quote that I think you like. I found a quote that I think speaks directly to where you are, to what you are doing and to how you are feeling. The quote simply said this, children deserve the best of you not what's left of you. I'll say it again because I believe that repetition deepens the impression. Children deserve the best of you, not what's left of you. And in order for you to continue to perform at a high level, in order for you to continue to do the very best that you can for children, you've got to do three important things, I believe. And I'll offer them to you right now. Number one, continue to take care of yourself. Yeah, guess what? Self-care is not just a buzzword. Self-care is reality. If you don't take care of yourself, if you are not good to yourself, how in the world can you be good to other people? Most importantly, how in the world can you be good to children if you're not being good to yourself? So I want to encourage you to engage weekly in self-care. You wanna know some tips? Some ways you can engage in self-care? Exercise. Yeah, I'm preaching to the choir, right? We've gotta engage in exercise proper nutrition, and be sure that we are constantly feeding ourselves the very best that we can, because you know the old saying, what goes in oftentimes comes out. So you've got to continue to exercise. You've got to continue to be kind to your body. You've got to also engage in, here's some tips to engage in self-care. You've got to also find a good book. What do you like? I don't know. You like mystery novels? What do you like romance novels? Whatever your interest is and wherever your interest lies, I want to encourage you to take time. Don't apologize either. I know sometimes we pause and take time for ourselves and we think about, oh, I should be doing this. I should be lesson planning. And guess what? That's important. But it's also important for you to take time. If you like a good book, read that book. If there's a TV show you like, if there's something on Netflix that you want to engage in, take time for yourself to decompress, to detox, to recharge so you can re-engage and be the very best that you can once again for children that we are serving. Check this out, as we are serving future leaders, a part of self-care is that you are also modeling for children. You're also modeling for your colleagues what it really means to be the best teacher that you can be. As we engage in self-care, as we engage in those things that help us and challenge us to recharge and detox, you're also helping somebody else because you know what? Somebody is always watching us. So once again, in order for you to continue to move forward during this COVID-19 learning season, you've got to engage in self-care. But number two, you've got to learn how to utilize, uh, I should say it this way, you've got to learn how to tap into underutilized staff members. Check this out, as I, as I go across the country and engage with schools and districts, you know what they tell me? You wanna know really? It's not a secret. You, know, you wanna know what they tell me? They tell me that there are librarians, there are school counselors, and there are teacher aides that are chomping at the bits to help you. There are underutilized, I mean severely underutilized school staff all across this nation that can help you get some things off of your plate and can engage in organizing and helping you plan and prepare for the weeks that are ahead. So I wanna encourage you, another part of being good to yourself, another part of realizing and recognizing as we are, as we are clearly engaged for the long haul in this COVID-19 learning setup and session, you've gotta understand that you've gotta utilize people that are waiting. I mean, they, are, they, they can't wait to engage. You're saying, well, I'm online, email them. 
You're saying we're not in person. Well, uh, uh, set, set up a link for Google Meet so that you can talk with them because they can oftentimes be a, of assistance and help to you so that you won't burn out and find yourself wrestling with fatigue. And then thirdly, I want to encourage you to always be professional. I know there are some people who have actually put their foot on the brake because we're online. They believe that somehow because we're virtual, that's an excuse for me to not be the best teacher I can be. There's some people that I see right now that have said, you know what, I'm, on, I'm in chill mode, right? I'm on cruise control because we're virtual. No, 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 no. Because we are virtual, that means we have to, we are challenged with and we are up against trying to keep children engaged. So guess what? That takes more of you. That takes more planning. That, take, that takes more preparation. That takes you to realize and recognize that you are challenged not only with children who have behavior problems and challenges in person, but now you have some children who don't have good internet access. You have children right now who are sharing technology equipment. And so you've got to be creative. Man, I love it. You all have been creative. You all have been innovative. You all have, have really tapped into your ingenuity to ensure and make sure that children are, are, are operating as well at a high level. So I want to encourage you, always be professional, virtual or in person. It's important for you to understand that the children, again, I go back to our quote from just a few minutes ago, children don't deserve what's left of you. They deserve the best of you. So as you continue to engage in this very unique uh, and sometimes challenging school year, I wanted to remind you today that you're still special. I wanted to remind you, in fact, let me pause here and say thank you for answering the call to education. You know how many people in the world have been called to education, but they won't answer the call? Isn't it funny? Isn't it strange how sometimes you'll call somebody and maybe this is this is a funny thing. What happens often for me is I'll see someone maybe post on social media. I'll see someone maybe comment on somebody's uh, 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 tag or, or or something that they have on Facebook or Instagram. And then I'll call them and they won't answer my call. And I'm saying to myself, well, you clearly got your phone in your hand. You're clearly available and awake. But there are some people who won't answer the call. There have been thousands of teachers and educators around the goal around the globe, I should say that have been called to be teachers, that have been called to be educators, but they pressed ignore. They, they haven't answered the call. They have not engaged in what they were equipped and made and created to be. So thank you for walking in your purpose. Thank you for fulfilling life's goals in so much as thank you for responding to the need that this world has for more dedicated, and committed teachers like yourself. So on behalf of all of your, your district administrators, on behalf of your principals, on behalf of your superintendents, I wanna thank you for your extreme effort during this time. And I want to encourage you, once again, I repeat, don't stop doing what you're doing. Do more of what you're doing. Continue to be super creative. Continue to tap into that strength that you didn't even know that you had. Don't you realize that COVID-19 revealed to some of us that we actually have gifts, strengths, and talents that we did not know we had? So thank you for tapping into those strengths. Thank you for tapping into those gifts. Thank you for answering the call. Keep being great. Keep being committed. Keep being dedicated. You're special. We're proud of you. We appreciate you. And guess what? COVID-19 will not get the worst of us. It's gonna get the best of us. Take care.